When it comes to websites, internet is abundant with its stuff, and most of it's useless and interesting to very few people. Same for most nerds, but sometimes there'll be websites that come along and stop you in your trail completely. Websites so darn bloody godforsakenly good that you wouldn't go on your day without sending an email to everyone you know. As such, I'm found you from SmartDNS Proxy, and here are 10 random useful websites that you wouldn't shut up about. If you're using a public computer, you should probably do your business in it in incognito mode, but with people and we forget to do so sometimes. Then, in that case, this site will help. As the name suggests, this site automatically searches a bunch of embarrassing and offensive terms in order to mess up your Google search history and how to appear to be funny. But some of them are pretty dark, like undetectable poisons. So make sure you use it wisely or you might get caught on a list somewhere. NSA. If you're a website that you use all the time, then with Web2Desk, you can convert that website into a standalone app. For me personally, I use SmartDNS Proxy a lot to circumvent geo restrictions on Netflix, and I have to activate my IP address from time to time. So to prevent this, I'll create a web app for SmartDNS Proxy website. Simply go to Web2Desk and enter the website's address. Now give your app a name and pick an icon. You can download the app for Windows, Mac, and Linux, can be as big as 100 MB. That said, the app works flawlessly and will save you some time and probably a lot of system resources if you use Google Chrome. So on my Mac, I always forget the control command space shortcut to bring up the character viewer, which is why I've saved my emoji copy as a bookmark. Using emoji copy is easy. Click on what you want to copy and it'll appear on a little bar at the bottom and hit copy to do just that. Then, just paste your emoji into whatever you're working on. Smart Disk Proxy helps you unblock geo restrictions on video streaming sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Videos, Spotify, and thousands of other blogs. All you need to do is create a free trial account and copy two DNS servers closer to your physical location and paste them in your DNS settings of your computer or even your router. For example, since I'm not in the States, I can't enjoy US Netflix, Spotify, Pandora or even the newly released Roku channel. Once I turn on Smart DNS Proxy, as you can see, all of them are working just fine. It's a paid service that costs about $5 a month, but you can get a 14 day free trial by clicking on the first link in the description below. As the name suggests, Namecheck helps you search dozens of sites at once to see if your name is free. For example, when we start a business, the first thing we check is that if a domain name is available. But most people forget to check availability on social media handle, which is equally important. Like when starting Players Narrative, my personal channel, I checked if the username is also available on other platforms. You know, if I become the next big thing, maybe. If you travel a lot, then this site is for you. It lets you see passports of various countries on the main page. You can also check the rank of your country. Apparently, Singapore has the highest rated passport. What the hell? But the real fun is in the visa comparison table. When you compare two countries' passport and see what entry and visa process is like for every other country. For example, if you're an American looking to visit China, you'll need a visa, but if you're a citizen of Singapore, you don't need any visa. Yeah, I guess Singapore is pretty good at remaining neutral when it comes to foreign policy. Every once in a while, when I get my me time, I binge watch an entire show on Netflix. But finding a good show on Netflix has been really hard lately. And that's where Flexible comes in. It's a search engine for Netflix with which you can search all the movies and TV shows on Netflix by genre, IMDb rating, and release year. For example, say if I'm in the mood for watching a movie, but the IMDb rating should be more than 8. My favorite feature is the IMDb filter. I'm not a big fan of Rotten Tomatoes anyway. Once you've made your selection, click on the filter. And there you go. Looks like I'll have to watch The Dark Knight again. If you want to edit photos but don't have Photoshop, then you can use the online app called Pixlr. Although, do know that it's not that easy. In fact, if you haven't used Photoshop before, you'll have a hard time using the app. That being said, it's one of the most powerful image editors available online. For example, you can do some amazing stuff that you'll do in Photoshop, like adding layers, replacing colors using the color pick tool, 
and transforming objects, etc. Overall, if you do need some basic image editing, I'll recommend Canva, but if you need a Photoshop alternative that works online, Pixlr is the best option out there. As the name suggests, comes in handy whenever you want to check if a website you're trying to reach is actually down or if there's some problem with your network. Simply type in the website URL that you're not able to reach and it'll tell you whether the website's down or is it just you. If you're one of those guys who needs a bit of a background distraction to be productive, then Noisly will help you focus. This web app lets you mix together random sounds to create your perfect environment. It can be sound, fire, coffee shops, waves, or whatever floats your boat or finds your remote. It's simple and doesn't take a lot of memory in your browser. Just try it out. And that's our list. Are there any websites that you found useful? Be a nice person and share it below. Make use of that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.